Well, hello people, and welcome back to part 86 of Orchid Bay, I have another City Skylines build. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And in today's episode, uh, we're not actually going to do a build. Instead, we're going to well, essentially play the traffic simulation part of City Skylines. So what I wanted to do for a while, uh, just out of interest really, is to use Traffic Manager to essentially disable despawning. So cars can't despawn, they must be managed. And just basically see how our vanilla infrastructure, multiple different interchanges, basically our road hierarchy system that we've set up over the last 86 episodes, see if it can actually withstand the no despawning mechanic of City Skylines. So it should be pretty interesting. In terms of a little preview, what do I think is going to happen? Um, I don't think there's any major problem areas. This interchange we were looking at just then might back up a little bit. There's some node work here that might not be massively friendly to the AI if it's not allowed to despawn. And maybe the one over by Lotus as well. I think the Lotus interchange might struggle a little bit too. But uh, either way, it should be quite an interesting experiment, wasn't it? So let's come into our interviews so far. We'll see what we're up to. We're going at 82%. Again, you guys know Orchid Bay, there's no major jams. It tends to be just volume that makes our roads a little bit more red. So let's disable despawning and then we'll see just how bad that this traffic will get. So I've been letting this run for about half an hour now and it's dropped to as low as 78%. Honestly, I thought it'd be a lot less than that. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy. Um, I guess I can't use the title. You won't believe how much my traffic percentage dropped in City Skylines anymore, can I? And I'm out the window now. <laughs> so yeah, let's do some traffic fixing with overcharged eggs, shall we? Um, so first of all, there has been a couple of red spots that I have developed um, over here. That is definitely... An issue now i think this is just because the arse end of the buses are hanging out and there's also there's two bus stops here isn't there i'm pretty sure there is let's have a look at our uh, public transport over here. yes it's the white and the blue bus lines that run through this area um so i'm just thinking do we even really need maybe the white one to stop here oh, look how busy the stops actually are i think this line as well that's a probably good opportunity to check out the bus lines themselves uh this one is pretty busy maybe a slight reduction let's go for 17 buses there and then with this one 11 buses for this line certainly seems a little too many doesn't it considering there's people with like one and zero on them but why don't we bring that down by three or four bring it down to eight that should hopefully fix the issue with just too many buses moving through here and i think to also combat that i am going to remove the white bus stop from here as well that can just carry on and then stop in the suburb over here once it gets there yeah, so that's that. That seems to be fixed. Our interchange over here is generating a little bit of traffic. But I can already see some vanilla junk here, um, such as these turning lanes. So let's come into Traffic Manager. Now, I'm not overly familiar with this mod. I know we use it in Thessia, but I very rarely touch it. I only usually use it to fix some stupid AI or maybe just fix some dedicated turning lanes if needed. Uh, so for this one here, these slip ramps, they don't need to go straight on or right because right turn is handled here. And the straight on will just be them getting back on the highway, which is no point. So that turn's just not needed. And I guess we can also do the same here as well, can't we? No straight on and no right turn there either. And then all these lanes through here, these are all dedicated uh, turning lanes here, aren't they? Everyone's happy with this, I think. Uh, apart from this one, there's no need for a left turn there. I'm assuming, is that the same over here too? Yes, it is indeed. All straight on for that. They don't need to turn left because they turn left here if they want to get back on the highway so that should hopefully make that junction a little more efficient i think i'm also inclined to remove 
the traffic lights from here. I think I'd rather just have a giveaway system. So we'll tell the people on the slip road coming onto the arterial to give way to arterial is obviously being the priority here. Just watch this and make sure it doesn't horrendously back up. We'll also apply that same logic to this one as well. So give way sign and um, arterial has the priority. I do think the AI has been a little bit too lenient with this. Why don't we just amend this junction as well to also tell them to keep going? I almost want to try something here, actually, just because of the super continuous flow of this intersection through here. Um, I think I actually might want to try a traffic light at either end of the junction just to help stagger this constant flow here. Um, because it is blocking these guys from getting out properly, so just to give them a bit of a chance. Hopefully that's going to just help. I guess we'll see what effect it has. That definitely seems to have helped, so why don't we also apply a light here so that just gives this junction a chance to clear as well and that should hopefully just stagger that constant flow that seems to be messing with their kind of you know just go when it's safe because i think they give ways a little bit too sort of static i think but for a vanilla intersection with no despawning that is flowing quite nicely and i like to see this you know a couple lanes of traffic waiting at the lights and this is a way back onto the highway in real life you would totally see traffic here so to have it look alive and not gridlocked, I think, is the goal of today. Uh, I can definitely see a few more patches where some traffic manager work is needed with those lanes, although no one is taking the turn, thankfully, but we'll stop it from being possible anyway. But uh, that's not too bad. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. That's flowing uh, quite nicely with no despawning. So we'll let that one go. Uh, hopefully that has cleared the backlog we had on this road. Yes, those buses have calmed down, which is nice. Have a little look at the numbers again. And possibly even reduce it a bit further. There's 20 people at a stop and still plenty of space on the buses, but it seems to be okay for right now. Uh, so that was that whole area fixed. Uh, that's very nice. What's that brought us back up to? That's uh, 78% so far. Uh, so there's another quite a bit of red around here, isn't there? But again, it's nothing that's backing up, is it? It's just volume, I think. I think there's probably some giveaway signs we can do here, isn't there, to help improve this. But it's not horrific in itself, is it? It's just just got volume, which is why it's going dark red. But then again, as we hang around here, there's some stupidity beginning to make itself known, isn't there? So let's try that then. Let's do some priority signs here. So similar to what we did on the other side. Let these guys stop. The priority here is definitely this um, arterial crossing the highway. And now I'm assuming that might just transfer the traffic onto the slip road. Which again, I don't mind in this case as long as it's not totally gridlocked and these industrial trucks are going somewhere. Then we should be alright, I think. Interesting to see that. So let's check our, uh, our traffic routes. A lot of these are trucks wanting to go into the industry over here. Okay, and then how about this one? Well, a few of them are wanting to go this way then, aren't they? So why don't we possibly explore adding on some extra highway connectivity for this area just to alleviate the number of trucks coming through this one? Oh, there we go. We are starting to get a bit more of a backup here now, so maybe this does want to be fixed. Okay, we can definitely do this then. Um, So, have a look at this traffic route over here as well. Yeah, so that left turn is... A bit of industry traffic, isn't it? Okay, let's first of all add in my extra connectivity that I was thinking of because I think that would also help before we think about rebuilding any infrastructure, which we might have to do. Um, so let's bring a road. This isn't going to be high enough, is it? No, so we'll have to do a little bit of terraforming. But I'm thinking if we bring a road underneath this highway, that should be about enough. Maybe one more contour line shaved off. There we go. So I'm thinking if we have an extra highway ramp here, 
people to get onto the highway because at the minute that seems to be what's causing the volume is just industrial traffic wanting to get back on the high speed roads so let's go ahead and give ourselves a little industrial road that's going to come under the highway here at a slope that it hopefully will be happy with It'd also be really cool to add another slip off here. Um, how's this doing? You're just a storage cabin. I think we've got plenty of oil storage across the city at this point. I can't imagine that's massively critical to the oil infrastructure. So I reckon we can get rid of it. And then let's also do another slip road off here if we can. Something to that effect. Let's just observe how all the traffic coming out here uses this. Wouldn't mind placing some trees around this interchange as well. So already just observing this junction, we can already see quite a few of the trucks are now gravitating toward that, aren't they? If you kind of look at the top left exit up here, there's a lot of trucks coming down this way, isn't there? Which is good. This is always definitely my approach to traffic fixing is alleviate the pressure as the first kind of option to fix things, I think. And definitely some extra connectivity here on the highway. Yeah, some turn off right. Well, they're all turning off right there, aren't they? There's not many people going straight on beside the occasional police car. But that's fine. That seems to have worked. We've not added any major load to this trumpet, but this is pretty high capacity, so this should be okay. At this junction is fine now with those priority signs and hopefully those extra traffic access here because what hopefully should happen is they'll prefer to come off this way and then take this slip road in and just those few less trucks on that junction aren't what are causing it to not back up as much cool and then just to prove as well because i'm assuming that people saying oh egg despawning is still enabled it's not you see no despawning <laughs> no, i'm not I'm not trying to cheese the system here but uh, that seems to have worked, at least. Has that improved our traffic percentage any, any, any more? 76, it's gotten worse, okay. It's gotten worse. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and find out what's happened. Uh, there's something going on here, isn't there? Let's have a little look at what's happening. Uh, okay. Just a, a dead car, was that blocking the junction? Is that what was causing that traffic jam? Oh, they're taxis. They're taxis picking people up out of the metro. That is quite interesting, that, isn't it? I wonder, are these all people waiting for taxis? They are, which is interesting. It's actually causing a few traffic problems, but this to me just looks like a little bit too much load on one junction. So again, just to help alleviate that pressure, uh, let's go ahead and grab this one here. Now that's not going to upgrade, is it? Because we've got that asymmetrical there. So let's change that. We just need to upgrade the road type for this. And then we'll have that go up there. Then we can change this one here back to a little bit asymmetrical. Actually, it might be quite handy here. I don't me try that. Shame we've not got node controller to blend the two junctions together, but it should be okay, I think. And definitely no traffic light here. We'll do the same thing with the junctions too. Let's have uh, just give way on that small road. Give priority to the arterial. And hopefully, again, that's just people trying to turn into the suburbia here. We'll just take the pressure off that main junction. See, now just a lot of people wanting to turn left here, isn't there? Now I can also see... Yeah, there's there's trucks using this road here to cut through, isn't there? Let's glance back at our traffic routes again. Let's go for this one. Yeah, so that industrial traffic is... Going this way to get back on the highway. How interesting. Okay. But either way, having let the simulation run for a little bit, and we've got some extra junctions on there now with priority signs. That has just taken the pressure off of that one junction there that was starting to bottleneck. So that seems to have helped the situation a little bit. Having said that, we've just fixed another junction and the traffic percentage has gone down again. <laughs> so, holy smokes, this is probably why, isn't it? It's bloody Karen and Sharon. They're, they're the problems. How, how grimly predictable, right? <laughs> what? 
What is going on here? Hello, train traffic as well. Okay. So this is what's been bringing our traffic percentage down, hasn't it? Oh, there's a lot of dead people in Karen. Oh dear, there isn't there. Oh, a yeah, huge train backups here. Yeah, okay. We have a problem here, don't we? <laughs> this is a problem. Um, so immediately, the rail crossings have gone insane. We've also got some ridiculousness happening with our intercity trains on the edge of the map. You boys okay? Oh yeah, this is backed up all the trains going into Denise as well, hasn't it? Okay, so this has turned into a big train traffic fix. Uh, first of all, let's rid the pedestrian crossings, or the uh, rail crossing. Okay, so that lifts a little bit of pressure off of the road here. Um, all this traffic back up here is just people trying to get across this way, isn't it? Now this has also backed up the corporate system into the downtown. <laughs> Holy crap, okay. All of this has backed up. Okay, that's fine. This is fine. So let's uh, rework this rail crossing here as well. Okay, so once the trains snap back into position, that, that should be our bridge able to clear once it moves through the huge amount of volume it has. There's floods of people leaving the service station. <laughs> you guys alright? Where are you coming from? Where are you going? What's happening, everyone? Is this traffic manager? Is this mods? Who knows? Everyone's just walking. <laughs> walking wherever the hell they want. You guys all right? Is this a... Is this a Just Stop Oil protest, maybe? Either way, those people have had enough and are just walking across highway traffic. <laughs> so hopefully that'll get better. Okay, so we're starting to see some movement here now. This is very good indeed, isn't it? And um, we're also... What, where are all these guys going here? There's a few people trying to turn here, isn't it? So I reckon we might benefit from a four lane road, actually. So we'll have this as four lane. That way we'll get the dedicated turn to the station if anyone wants to take that. Be sure to hopefully snap back into those. Away. I did just see someone despawn. Yeah, we still have no despawning. Not sure what went on there. Although I can see we need to delete some trains, though, because these guys have gone all kinds of junk. There we go. That's blocking one train. Yeah, let's just clear this guy up. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I don't know what is wrong with the trains. Oh, well, this is starting to clear now. This is good. So rail crossings certainly weren't helping here. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with the trains, though. These guys are definitely not playing game. Would you like to continue on? Not sure. Okay, well, that clears them coming this way, at least. Okay, so this is starting to move. Uh, we should hopefully see this backdrop starting to clear up now as well. People doing some stupid lane switching here. But they should be okay, I think. Cool, so then the next issue is the trains, which is... Oh, we are getting some abandonment here now, aren't we? Got some of these regrow. But yeah, we've got a lot of train traffic, so I'm guessing this is just going to be another issue with the outside connection, isn't it, like we've had before in Orchid Bay? Yeah, we've got trains just sat here, just chilling. And we have changed this configuration multiple times. See if we can delete one. Just delete these connections and redraw them. And just give the trains a chance to actually leave the map again there's just there's backlogs here on the line that aren't moving i know there's multiple ways to fix this but orchid bay seems to be 
forever stuck in this endless dead intercity train loop. This is much better in CS2, to be fair to it. I haven't seen this happen yet in the game. Okay, and then we've just got this guy now blocking the train that wants to leave. So let's get rid of them. Now will you continue on? Yep, that seems to be coming out. That's wonderful, 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 wonderful. We then move up to this one. Where we need to trace the next stuck train. Yes, and there's one somewhere down the line. Yeah, one of these has to be stuck, doesn't it? Um, or he is also blocking the line there. This comes down here. All the way through. And then we arrive. Yeah, there we go. Starting to be a little bit of filtering now. That main arterial road has cleared up and the station roads are now perfect. And we've just got to watch this train back up clear, which there is movement now at least. I think it was just a few... I'm, I'm guessing turning on despawning whilst you're very set up in a simulation that is set up to not have despawning doesn't particularly play well with the AI. I'm assuming that's what's happening here. But we are now seeing the return of flow, which is good. Let's make sure we haven't had any... Horrendous abandonment across the city anywhere. But <laughs> we haven't. Yeah, we've got a little bit of uh, traffic backing up here again, haven't we? Uh, which is just caused by that single train all the way down the line. It's actually backed it all up, hasn't it? So it's just got to it's just got to filter out. We need this train to start going. It doesn't look like he wants to go. This line has got to start moving pretty sharpish. Yeah, because this is just pumping out trains at the minute. I'll tell you what we're going to do. is We're going to turn off this airport cargo station. Because there's so much traffic backed up trying to drop off at it. It's just pumping out train after train. Which is stopping this line from being able to move. So this should all be filtering out the edge of the map now. Which it is. It's all starting to move. And then that should then have the cascading effect we want further down the line. We hope anyway. Though having said that, there's just there's so many cargo trains here, isn't there? There's some trying to get into the warehouse as well, which is fair enough. Yeah, I think I'm going to kill this rail connection just temporarily. Until this main track can clear. It's just, it's blocking the, the main line too much at the minute. There we go. Really, the priority is getting all this cleared because they're actually having uh, death care issues over here now, aren't they? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that rail crossing is cleared. I don't mind a rail crossing. But they're swiftly learning a lesson about having them with <laughs> no traffic despawning on. But uh, movement is key, isn't it? That's what we're all here to see. And that should hopefully now start to free up this entire line, which it looks like it is starting to clear off a little bit now, isn't it? This one here as well, these trains are all moving again. Yes, they are. Very nice indeed. Cool. So let's wait for all these train lines to filter off as one of the stations burns down. And then we'll see just exactly how it was set up. So the trains are continuing to flow. However, the cargo station over here could certainly benefit from a one-way system. So that's what we'll introduce. Uh, basically, just want them to flow back out of the station, around the warehouse, and then back up to the entrance there. That should keep them all going around in a loop without them backing up onto each other. And that has actually backed up the arterial road around here again but this is just volume i think so this should clear once all this begins to siphon off uh i wonder if it's also worth us setting up the junction is it control shift click i think for a roundabout it just makes it a bit more efficient with their priorities i think doesn't it and we've also got our light down here as well how are we doing for turning lanes here everyone seems to be happy again i think once this runs we should be all right uh, whilst that does run, let's just have a little scan around the rest of the city. We're back up to 79% now, so it's certainly helped. We've also got a little bit of action happening here. And I wonder if it's just worth coming into these roundabouts and doing uh, our priority signs and then doing control shift click. It's a quick setup high priority for a roundabout, isn't it? Probably worth doing that on these major ones, isn't it? Uh, and in terms of what's going on with you, again, we can see more buses on this line. So let's just see how justified they are, because I think trimming down the bus numbers can always help. Yeah, probably too many. I'm saying maybe let's go down to seven. That should fill most of them up, I think. It's not a majorly busy line anyway. 
And then that is just backing up to here, isn't it? With people wanting to get in and out. Again, hopefully less buses on that should clear it up a little bit. This connection here also won't be doing us any favours. So let's do a slightly reworked junction here. There you go. Let's bring that back down. That hopefully won't lose our office zoning. Just about two nodes very close to each other there. There's never a good sign for traffic. There we go. That's starting to filter through a bit more now, isn't it, I think? Very nice. Let's pop back into our traffic view. Uh, this should... Yeah, this is starting to clear down now, isn't it? Just working through all that volume. We're back up to 80%. Uh, how did the downtown fare? I didn't see anything major apart from that couple system. That has cleared up now. Mainly just red, I think, due to volume, isn't it? Rather than... Any actual jams. There's touch going on here, and you can already see there's a ton of buses here, isn't there? So Biffers Gardens, funnily enough, <laughs> it is one of the bus lines causing us traffic, which is hilarious, isn't it? Shout out to Biffer everyone, the traffic fixing genius. Um he he, he really should have come in to do this. So they're returning to depot. How about you guys? How are you doing? You got 15 buses. Again, the majority of which are all pretty quiet. Let's bring you down. We'll also end up saving some money doing this as well. We'll bring our public transport budget down significantly. Cool. So that should hopefully clear that up. Beside that, I don't think there's too much junk there at all. Really do like this part of the city. The Asia town with the train line coming through it. We don't spend too much time in these parts of Norco Bay anymore. Bit of a shame really, isn't it? Cool. Well, that looks delicious to me. That should keep flowing. People stopping at bus stops here. Turn into depot, etc. Wonderful news. That gives us that takes us back to 81%. So we're now where we started in the city. Uh again, I'll tell you what I would love to do actually, whilst we have traffic manager, because I've never been able to do it in vanilla. Is to sort out these ridiculous turns here. People use the slip roads to move around quicker. <laughs> and it's super annoying. Just go straight on, please. You guys shouldn't be able to turn here at all. Uh, where else is it happening? I think it's just there, isn't it? It was those two junctions. Yeah, and I guess really you shouldn't also be able to do it here either. Or, yeah, these should just be straight on. And uh, that right turn is into this road here, isn't it? So that one does need to maintain. Cool. I should stop then. Uh, we're back up to 82. This is great news. I, uh... I actually thoroughly enjoyed the traffic fix. I, I never ever focus on the sort of the simulation, but uh, this has been most enjoyable. We were right here. This just looks like a loop of industrial traffic trying to unload. Indeed, it does, doesn't it? Again, I reckon we can just help things here with a little one-way flow system. So we'll install this here as well. Now, if I remember rightly, this shouldn't cause any major issues. Yeah, we'll have it go this way. And then up there and here. I think that's what I'm happy with. Just help keep people flowing around where they're trying to drop off that cargo. Delicious. And that brings us back to 82, which is where we started. We've also got severe train backups here again on the edge of the bloody map boundary. But this is driving into the city so where is this lock emanating from um over here to get over this way and where do you stop there i think this train here has died and is currently backing up the whole system he just wasn't moving forward for some reason yeah and then that blocks one junction which then cripples the rest of the network <laughs> so why are you guys dying here? Oh, because you're wanting to get into there. Right, I see. I see what's up with you there. You want to cross into that one, don't you? Um. Okay. Well, I think this is a sign for redesign, isn't it? This little one-way slip here has to float under. They can't cross over the line there. So we've got some terrain layers here. So this should be a pretty simple fix to rework.
So that has now started to clear the backlog on the main line, which is moving in the right direction. Which is then freeing up further junctions to hopefully keep flowing down. And all this backlog emanates from these guys here, just trying to use this loop to get back onto the outside connection. But yeah, there you go. Now it's starting to move, which should then have that cascading effect to fix the rest of it. But you fix one thing, <laughs> and then like a thousand more things pop up. Yeah, all this is still just filtering out from that right hand lane here. You can see them crossing over the way the uh, train lines meet here. It's a shame we'll never get to build out this side of the map. We definitely won't have the node count to come out here. It's actually quite pretty, isn't it, with the mountains here? And that all Sid Eyes network work. Very nice. So yeah, this just goes under, and then I'm guessing they're struggling at the outside connection again, aren't they? Yeah. Not a vast amount we can do about this. We have already used Move It to extend the segment. Um, you can see it's longer than the width of a single train. But unfortunately, the AI is just sometimes very stupid. Um, I know we've also had other people suffer with this problem as well. So after what felt about no less than 3,000 years, this train traffic has finally filtered away. <laughs> the, um, the outside connection problem is still a real issue. I actually ended up disconnecting this one here just to reduce the load on the trains. But yeah, they still... Just a CS1 quirk, I think, isn't it? This outside connection malarkey. Um, stops people from leaving and entering properly and when there's just such sheer volume of trains There's with no despawning I mean it does have an effect, but I think our rework junctions have certainly helped uh, And after most of the fixes across the city uh, that does leave us back at an 81% traffic flow Or 82% now, which I'm pretty happy with to be honest. That's pretty nuts uh, This extra slip lanes here have definitely helped around the highway haven't they taken a bit of pressure off of this yeah, I'm sure these big red bits here are bringing our score down, isn't it? But it's just just volume, which I'm really happy with. So this is all really cool. Yeah, there's a little bit of traffic happening here, actually, isn't there? Maybe we just want to uh, give that junction a little kiss with restrictions. So everyone just keep going, please. Turn on that continuous flow sign as well. I think it's just a bit of AI jank, isn't it? Bouncing around near the intersections. But uh, yeah, otherwise, it's all it's all flowing, and especially for vanilla infrastructure, bear in mind all of this city has been built without any move-it or node controller or network anarchy. It's all vanilla, really, besides the prop line tool and the forest brush. Uh, it's nice to see that it can withstand, if not some slight changes needed, uh, to have traffic despawning off. And all well, this has stayed clear around here now as well. Uh, we have... It was over here, wasn't it? Karen and Sharon near the intercity bus station, uh, train station with the trolley buses. Uh, this is all wonderful now. Not getting too many people pocket car in here either. Um, I don't have advanced parking AI on uh, in this city. Of course, because it's a vanilla one. But uh, yeah, it's all flow around here now. There's still a little bit of traffic filtering through uh, from this one way system here. I'm almost tempted to give because i think it's just this toll slowing things down isn't it so if we were to give a policy to sharon's factory i think it's city planning isn't it but yeah okay it does already have the automated toll on i guess so i guess it should be okay yeah. or maybe this section here is just not particularly long enough really i'm not sure or well, maybe they just want another way in and out well you know it's not horrendous it's just a busy industrial area now those trains have all filtered off now as well which is nice to see all through here is all very nice and clear I'm well, really happy with that. Um, I have gained a whole new level of appreciation for Biffa <laughs> in this episode. Uh, to even fathom fixing a city of like a million with all this traffic in it is uh, it's pretty insane. So, uh, but I've had a ton of fun doing it, it has to be said. Uh, but otherwise, guys, we will leave the episode there. Uh, no cinematics today, of course, because we haven't really built anything, but please enjoy the huge sprawl across Orchid Bay. If you've enjoyed the episode, those likes, comments, and shares below really do help the channel to grow. And don't forget, we are now March to 100,000 subscribers, which is an insane milestone for the channel. And I'm really looking forward to hitting it if we can. So if you are finding yourself watching the videos over and over again, maybe consider subscribing. It would help. Otherwise, it was really fun to play with the traffic mechanic of City Skylines, which is something we tend to ignore 99% of the time. And it's kind of nice to see that, you know, all of our designs and theories and thought processes in vanilla 
will also transfer to that more modded management side of the game and you know we've changed very little in the city today if not for just some slight rework of training sections and some extra slip ramps to take pressure off of existing infrastructure but uh, i'm super happy with it i hope you've enjoyed it either way uh, thank you for watching the episode massive shout out to all the patrons supporting the channel if you'd like to get a little bit more egg in your life there are links down to instant gaming and patreon below where there's early access podcasts so head on down there if that's something you're interested in otherwise we'll be back to building as normal in orchid bay next week i definitely wanted to make sure we did this episode and um, before the city comes to its very close eventual finish otherwise really fun episode let's thank you all so much for watching and as always enjoy the rest of your day <laughs>